school came about? I have several grandchildren and one of them is autistic. Um, he was excluded from mainstream school when he was six and spent a year at home and I remember the day that I said if we can't find a suitable school for him we're going to have to open one ourselves. So I continued to research the best way to teach autistic children and Hope House became a reality. How many pupils attend Hope House School, as well as the weekend and evening clubs at the school? The school has 25 pupils on the roll, and that's our maximum number, so we are full at the moment. Clubs started very small, many years ago, when there were six children, but now we have 120 to 150 children who come to school and are befriended. What is the age group of children at Hope House School? The school uh, takes a range of between 5 and 19 years of age for school and clubs, children are from 6 to 18. My name is Henry Wetboy and I come to Hope House School. What is a typical day at Hope House School for the pupils? Most of the pupils have to travel a long way to get here and they either arrive in a taxi or on school transport. So when they've got here, they have 15 minutes transition. All of them have individual timetables, which is a mammoth task to make sure that they all work together. But they start their learning and their therapy and their playtime from 9.15 onwards. And each, each child, each pupil, has one member of staff working with them. What do you think is the best thing about Hope House School? The passion of the staff, because without people who have the vision that I had, this place would just not work. Um, the staff are a cut above anybody else that I have met in the uh, way that they support the children, they work for the charity, they bond together as a group and their passion keeps us going. Animals are an important part of life at Hope House, why is that? Because animals are non-judgmental. When a dog goes into a classroom to listen to a child read, if the child makes a mistake, then the dog doesn't say anything. And very often, our reading to dog's dog, Honey, will be asleep snoring. Uh, but she's there. And other children go and see the cats if they're stressed. They go and groom a donkey if they need to do some sensory work. They will take food to the animal unit for the animals and that will keep them grounded. They'll be able to go and have horse riding lessons and learn to read whilst on the back of a horse. So animals are a huge part and are essential to the working life of Hope House. 11 year old Hugh was excluded for six months because his primary teachers couldn't cope. Experts say it's all too common. But now Granny's taking charge. What do you think is Hope House School's greatest achievement? I think that it's the way that the local authorities are now confident and believe that we are providing the best for the children that they send to Hope House. My name is Matthew Punter, I'm 19 years old and I'm a student at Hope House School. I have ADHD which causes me to be hyper and have a short attention span. I have PDA which affects how I take orders and commands and I have autism which affects how I think and behave. Could you tell me a bit about your academic background? It's a complicated one. I left education at seven years old because of how severe my conditions were. The authorities then tried half a dozen special education schools, all of which failed. And they were quite extreme in getting me into these schools, in restraining, they would restrain me in the car, they'd drag me from the car to the school, and they'd keep me in a room for a couple of hours until enough was enough and they would send me home. That was my life for about two years until the authorities realised school wasn't for me. After the authorities realised this, they introduced me to Terry, who worked for me for about two years, 
but because of how severe my conditions were, I wasn't able to learn anything, and therefore the, the authorities withdrew her support. But Terry still kept in contact with me, and at the age of 17, when I was ready and conquered my conditions, I asked her if Hope House School could teach me to read and write. And basically, that's where my education truly began. My achievements are being able to learn to read and write within 18 months, completing five GCSEs in five months, and truly harnessing and developing myself and my conditions. Could you tell me your thoughts and feelings on the school? Well, the school takes an unorthodox and unprecedented approach to teaching autism. There's no pressure here to hit goals. Everything's at the individual's pace. So, so for me, it was quite fast. But for other students who have severe anxiety, it can be at their pace. It can take weeks, months, years, but it will be done. And I think that's where the school really stands above anywhere else. There's just no pressure here. What are your aspirations and how did you cure your autism? How did I cure my autism? Well, I don't think you can cure it, but I do think you can treat it. Um, it kind of ties into my aspirations because I'd like to go to the University of Cambridge, do a degree in psychology and behavioural science, and find out how I treated it. And if I can possibly find that out, perhaps I can help other autistic people. So they are my aspirations to help autism and to help other people who were once like me. Thank you.